In this video, I'm going to create an 8-bit adder, uh, which is built on a uh, combination of eight 1-bit adders. Uh, so let's uh, start that. We start a new circuit. We need our base component, which is 1-bit adder. Um, have created a symbol from 1-bit adder um, in previous videos. Uh, it's a story in a CPU project. I opened the uh, CPU project library. There is one bit adder in there, which is called uh, FA or full adder. Um, I'm going to create eight bit adder here. So we need eight instances of full adder um, to be uh, cascaded to create one eight bit adder. Okay, so we'll start with that. Um, we need eight instances of this adder. Um, and we need um, to drive um, one 8 bit input A into the others and one 8 bit B as the second input. Uh, we can insert that from um, a collection of signals or a bus. So let's add one 8 bit bus that I use for signal A. I use the second breakout for driving signals to the um, B input of all the others. Another other. Uh, in the carry repel adder, um, the carry out of the least significant bit is attached to the next most significant bit. So this is how we are going to um, cascade the others and send the carry out of one level to the carry in of the next level. Okay. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste the adder that I created at the bottom to simply attach uh, the adders and cascade eight adders. So That's the second, third, fourth. Okay. Need to scroll up. Okay. Let me increase the uh, view area. is the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth adder. The carry out that comes off the last adder is not used. It's used for uh, checking overflow of the add operation. We ignore that for now. And the carry in that is attached to the first level um, is attached to zero. Um, that's for the wiring of circuit here. Let's count the number of adders. We have uh, four and eight adders. Um, the next step is to connect um, uh, A and B to the inputs. Let's assume this collection of signals or a bus is my input A, and this collection of signals is my input B. Then I'm going to connect um, A and B to the full adders.
okay this is all for um, B signals and next it's um, time for attaching A inputs Okay, all the inputs are uh, connected. Um, we need to um, attach a bus to the output to collect the uh, all the uh, outputs from full ladders into one um, single bus. So let's uh, insert the breakout. I always go with the same name for all the breakouts because if you want to connect two breakouts together and they have different names, um, individual interconnects won't be connected so it's always a good practice to go with the same name for all buses the top adder in my design is the uh, most significant bit so make sure uh, input a and b uh, the most significant bits are connected to the top adder and also the result the sum is attached to the most significant bit all the inputs and outputs are connected as expected uh, we can zoom out a bit and verify Um, the next thing to do is to verify the correctness of the circuit uh, before we create a symbol from it. Uh, so let's attach hex keyboards and drive some inputs and verify the output. Uh, right click on the bus and select breakout and insert the breakout with the predefined name. The signal A, the, the bus A has the same name, so it's safe to drop that as well. Move the bus a little bit down to make sure this is connected to the breakout. It looks good. Then attach um, hex keyboards to drive inputs. We have a total of 16 inputs, so we need four hex keyboards. The convenient way to move the hex keyboards on the circuit is to use the keyboard's arrow keys, left, right, up, and down. Uh, it's hard to select, drag, uh, select and drag the circuit. So best way is to use the arrow keys. Let me get name for the output too. Okay, I have all the inputs attached. Uh, and we can start the simulation and verify the correctness of input, uh, correctness of the circuit. Um, so let's enable show values from simulation. So we see all the signals everywhere. Uh, first, thing, first thing to verify is inspect the entire circuit and see if you see any cross or any Z anywhere. That's not a good sign if you see so. Uh, if there is X, uh, one signal is connected to two outputs, most likely two drivers. Um, if you see Z, um, something is not connected. I don't see any of that issue. So um, I go to the next step, verifying the circuit by applying different inputs. Um, first input, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 hex uh, leads to the output 0, 0. That's what we expect from an 8-bit adder. Um, if we pass in F, F, and um, 0, 1, what we expect is 0, 0 as the output. That is also uh, correct. Um, I can verify a few other uh, values. For instance, if we go for uh, 23 added by uh, uh, 
91. Uh, what we expect as the output is uh, four in the least significant hex digit, and the most significant digit will be nine A B. And this is what we see on the output. Okay, uh, the circuit looks okay, and uh, it's uh, functioning as expected. So we can save this file as a full addo uh, eight bit. I'm going to create a new separate folder for uh, this new project. I call this 01. This is the first component we are creating for our CPU project. Um, I named this one full adder 8, suggesting this is an 8 bit full adder. Okay, first step done. The next step is to create a symbol from this 8 bit adder so we can. Uh, conveniently access the um, component from the library. So we don't see the internal circuit, we see the one single uh, tiny component which is able to do 8-bit add. Um, to create a symbol from this full adder 8-bit, um, we need to save this file as a new file. Um, so let's uh, file save as we create a new file called full adder symbol. This is identical to the full adder 8.cct, except that instead of all the drivers, um, we attach ports. And the ports are uh, attached to the interface of the symbol and can be driven by any external component. So I remove all the drivers, can stop the simulation and remove all the drivers. Um, drivers are um, hex keyboards in the circuit. Um, you can leave the binary switch uh, attached to zero because this is uh, the fixed value of this input anyways and it's not exposed to the interface. Um, I don't see any other drivers, so that is ready um, for um, inserting the ports. Um, as you might have noticed, we have a bus um, input here and the bus ports are not a standard in LogicWorks. We have a separate library um, that you can find uh, in the link uh, in the description of the video. Um, this library is called CSCI250 and uh, this library provides the bus um, ports that we can use for uh, attaching to the circuit. So if I open this library I see port in eight, which are eight bit uh, input ports. I drop two instances of these ports. To attach to A and B. And one instance of port out to attach the output S. Um, let's pick a name for the ports. Pick a name B for uh, this passport, name A for the second one and name S for the output. Okay, then I save this file and we are ready to create a symbol or uh, part from this circuit. Close all other open circuits and leave the only circuit uh, full adder 8 symbol.cct open. Then from file, new, create device symbol. First thing is to attach the implementation to this circuit. Then verify that uh, the signals that are detected as expected. So A, uh, zero from bus B, all of them are input. A zero to A seven from input A, all are output and S, uh, collection is output. So that is correct. So let's create the interface now. Um, for the interface, we prefer to have inputs on the left, outputs on the right. So I'm going to uh, cut, move the 
output to the right side. I'm going to pick a name for uh, this new component. I'll call it uh, FA8, 8-bit eight full adder. And then you can press generate symbol. This will generate the interface of symbol. If you select, uh, click anywhere around the board, you see how does it uh, look like. Then we can save this uh, into a, a library so we can reuse that later. File, save. Um, I have the CPU project library open uh, and I can save this component in the CPU project library. That is it. Uh, if you close the symbol, and, uh, if you close the CCP file, save your changes. And you can start creating a new circuit and start um, testing your circuit. This is also called the test batch. Um, let's find the CPU project library. Now we have FA and we have FA8, which is the 8-bit version of the full adder. We drop that, um, we have the symbol. You can uh, insert a breakout and drive signals and see uh, if the symbol is um, working as expected. For driving uh, values, I use hex keyboard here. We have 16 inputs, we need four hex keyboards. Okay, can I start the simulation, stop and start the simulation. From simulation, enable show values, so you see values of A, B, and S. Um, first, inspect that you don't see any Z or X. If you see Z and X, uh, you have to figure out why this is happening. The first uh, step to uh, dig that is to double click on the component and go inside and see if you see any Z or X. Uh, if you don't see any, close this uh, sub circuit and then go back to the test bench and uh, drive some other input. So, first input 0, 0, 0, 0, all added and the result is 0 in hex. Uh, let's try FF. I always try FF because uh, FF uh, tests all the carry propagations. FF added to 0, 1 and leads the result of uh, 0, 0. That is correct. Also try uh, 56 with uh, 11, for instance, some other inputs. I'm expecting 67 as the output, and that's what we are seeing. So uh, the circuit uh, looks sane. You can save this file as a full other 8 test bench. And that's the end of the video.